how to make a thousand bucks over the summer as a 3D artist. School's over. Everybody's fucking around, smoking weed. All right. But you want to do something productive this summer. You don't want to just waste an entire summer on bullshit playing video games and sweating in your room in the dark. You want to make a thousand bucks. Well, here's how you do it because it ain't rocket science. Now, let me explain something to you first. You got all summer to do this. A thousand dollars may be a lot of money to you, but it's not a lot of money for a business owner. So you can definitely make a thousand bucks if you play your cards right. You got all summer. If you can't find 10 pieces of paper like this during the entire summer, it's on you. If you fuck this up, it's on you. It ain't nobody else's fault. It ain't Aryan's a scammer. Aryan's just clickbaiting. It's on you, okay? So thousand dollars is a whole lot of money to you, but it's not a lot of money to the guy who's selling products online, business owners who are doing e-commerce, selling whatever the fuck. I'm just giving you a hypothetical example. There's a lot of business owners who are very much willing to spend a thousand dollars on their business, okay, on improving their branding, improving their website, improving their product images, whatever. I can tell you this from the perspective of a business owner because I'm a business owner myself, so I understand that a thousand dollars is not a lot of money to invest into your business. I'd be more than willing to spend a thousand dollars on something which I know for a fact is going to improve my ability to do business. Now, if you're not a business owner, if you're not an entrepreneur, it might be difficult for you to imagine how a thousand dollars can be used in a business to help that business, okay? But basically think of it like this. Anything that you can do to help a business owner, which is gonna improve the website, the quality of their presentation, maybe content for social media, anything that you can do, they're probably going to be willing to give you money for this. If you don't know what to do, here's an idea for you. If you don't know how you can help them, you go to ChatGPT and you tell them, hey, ChatGPT, I'm a 3D artist. I specialize in product visualization, let's say, because that shit is easy. Everybody can do product visualization. Even if you've been doing Blender for three months, you could come on. You can make a cylinder. You can put together some textures. You can make this label in Canva. It ain't rocket science. Anybody can do this. If you can't do this and you've been learning Blender for six months, you fucked up somewhere, all right? So you go to ChatGPT and you talk to him and you tell him, hey, I'm a 3D artist and maybe list some other skills. Hopefully you got some other skills. Maybe you can do a little bit of web design. Maybe you can do some coding, whatever, right? Maybe you understand social media a little bit. Maybe you can edit videos. Hey, ChatGPT, I have skills this, 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 and this. How can I potentially help e-commerce business owners with my skills so that they'll be willing to pay me? Give me 20 ideas. Boom, 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 boom. ChatGPT is going to list them, right? So now you know what to do, how you can help. You got to get to work. Now, the question is, how the fuck do you find those people? Because you don't know no business owners. You're probably 18 years old, high school, uni or something. You don't know business owners. You only know fucking losers. So how do you get in touch with business owners? From your perspective, and nobody's a business owner because you don't know them. You've never seen them. you never met them. But I know where business owners are and I can tell you how they operate. So I know that they exist. I know that there's a whole lot of them out there. And here's something that you can do to get in contact with them, okay? The first thing is you have to understand that finding a client is pretty much the same as getting a job, okay? Most of you guys had jobs already, didn't you? Had you delivering food or I don't know, cutting grass. What, what the fuck? What kind of jobs do you guys have? Working as a cashier. I don't know. Some bullshit job, okay? Maybe you had a proper job. What, whatever. I'm I'm trying to speak to a hypothetical 18-year-old or 19-year-old in high school right now. Imagining you had some sort of basic-ass job. And think about how you found that job. Now, for most people, they already understand that in order to find a job, you basically got to play the numbers game, okay? For the most part. Sometimes you get lucky, you know somebody, right? But especially if you're trying to get a, a good job, I don't know, I think it's rather 50-50 for most people. It's kind of like half half of the time you'll get there through recommendation, you just know somebody, and half of the time it's like you were spamming websites or something, okay? But in any case, yeah, we got we full screen. In any case, what you're going to have to do is play the numbers game to some degree, and there's two ways that you can do this. First of all, you're going to have to sit your ass down at the computer and make a list of all the platforms where you know that you can find some gigs. That's that. 
Fiverr, Upwork, you name it. I don't know these websites. What, how many websites are there? There's a whole bunch of them. Again, ask ChatGPT. And you might be able to find some websites for jobs in general where you can find a job, a full-time job at a studio as a 3D artist. Okay, why not? Why not go for full-time employment? Now, listen, I'm making this video assuming that you already got a portfolio, that you already got your shit together to some degree. I'm assuming that you already have a couple of products on your Instagram page or on your website, or you have something where you can showcase your work, which doesn't look like shit. Okay. If you don't know how to construct a portfolio, I already made some videos for that. But if you need some more help with that, we do that inside digitally enhanced, right? So join the program. We're going to help your ass out. Okay. We have a whole system that we put people through, where we help you to construct a portfolio, which is specifically designed to get you into a particular niche of 3D design. So you can operate there as a professional. And once you have this, this is just the first step. Now you got to go out to find the clients. Because guess what? Just because you put this bottle right here on your portfolio, ain't nobody going to knock on your fucking door. Ain't nobody coming. Okay, you got to go out there and get it. So what's going to happen is it's going to be much like looking for a job. You're going to sit your ass down on these websites. You're going to make a list of websites where you're going to go. I don't know, Glassdoor. I don't know, you name it. What, what, what job websites are there? Ask ChatGPT. Google it. Figure it out. Get to work, right? Don't be lazy. I don't need to explain everything to you. You can figure this sh some of the shit out yourself, okay? You have all the information of the world right here in your pocket, okay? So you're going to make a list of these websites, and every single day you're going to go to those websites, and you're going to shoot a couple of shots, all right? I made a whole program for you guys. I'm going to explain that to you in a second. I'm gonna, I made a whole program that you can follow if you want to make some money this summer, all right? I'm assuming you already got a bit of a CV. If you don't, Get your shit together, put together a CV, watch a couple of tutorials on YouTube. If you want some help, again, reach out to me. We're going to help you out. You got a portfolio, you got a couple of products on there. And now, this is how this is going to work. Imagine a basketball. Imagine I take my mom to the basketball court. My mom can't hoop for shit. If I give my mom a basketball and she throws it, she's not even going to hit that board probably. Okay, it's going to go back, it's going to hit a child in the head, okay? But if she shoots again, she's going to miss again. If she shoots again, she's going to miss again. But on the seventh shot, she might hit the board, okay? All right. Now, if you're a bitch, you're going to give up after five shots, and you're going to say, ah, oh, this is not for me, ah, oh, they don't want me, okay? All right. In this case, you shouldn't even be watching this video, because in this, this you're going to be one of those people who's going to go writing on Red Aryan's a scammer and all this other shit, okay? This video is not for you. If you're the kind of person who can't, handle shooting a couple of shots more than you want to, then this video is not for you. What's going to happen is this. You're going to shoot a hundred shots. Okay. Eventually one is going to go in, two are going to go in. Okay. You still suck, but you're going to come back tomorrow and shoot a hundred more shots. Okay. Now tomorrow you already got comfortable with the balance. You already got comfortable. Maybe you watched the YouTube tutorial, how to hoop properly. You watched the video on how to improve your portfolio. Maybe you joined your audience club and now they told you, ah, but there's this discord server where you can find clients, okay? So you're going to learn as you go. But eventually, as you keep grinding, as you keep shooting your shots, as you keep sending in inquiries, as you keep sending in job applications of all sorts and tweaking your portfolio, tweaking your technique, all right, and the analogy for basketball, you're going to figure it out. You're going to get the right spin. Boom. Before you know it, you're going to get a whole bunch of shots in. A whole bunch of them are going to go. And you're going to shoot pretty damn well. It's the same shit when you're looking for a job. Most of them are not even going to open your message. They're not even going to see it. Some of them are going to respond to you and tell you, nah, we don't want you, okay? Some of them are going to say, yeah, we want you, but then they're going to ghost you. But eventually, some, someone's going to reach out to you. Someone's going to want to talk to you. Someone's going to want to work with you. Someone's going to want to give you some money, okay? Now, it's a numbers game. Maybe on your first gig, you get $1,000. Maybe on your first gig, you find a guy. Maybe you, okay, let me give you, let me think of an example of where I would be willing to pay $1,000. And don't reach out to me with this shit because it's not going to happen. I already got people for this. But let's say $1,000 for me. If, if somebody can put together a website, which looks nice, where I can very easily showcase everything that I do, all my products, all my books, all my courses, everything that I have, where I can have a landing page, which is like a center for my brand. This is something that I would very much be willing to pay a thousand dollars for it. It's not a lot of money for me for this type of investment. Okay. It's something around this. All right. And there are a lot of people who are willing to do this. So maybe you get a thousand dollar gig right off the bat. If you're good enough for this, maybe you just got a couple hundred dollar gigs, right? Maybe you just got to visualize three products. Look, this shit takes you one afternoon to make. Okay. Look, it's a cylinder. It's a ball. 
It's a texture you're making can by using HDRI. You put it on this rock, boom, problem solved. This is one afternoon of work, okay? So maybe you just get 10 gigs with $100 through Discord servers. Maybe you get a full-time job, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is if you keep shooting the shot, if you keep adjusting your portfolio, you keep adjusting your, your uh, CV, people are going to respond to you eventually, okay? It's like looking for a job. It's like anything else. So here's how you do this. If you, you don't want to be a fuck up like everybody else in your high school, you want to make some cash, okay? So later when you come back to school, now you're going to be balling. Everyone's going to be asking you how, how, but they already know how. While they were playing video games, banging one out every evening and smoking weed, you were in there grinding. You were in a hooping, okay? So now you got a thousand bucks. So here's what you're going to do. Since I got to explain every detail, since you guys can't figure this shit out yourself, I'm going to explain it to you, okay? I'm, I'm not going to bully you this time. I'm going to help you out. You're going to wake up, you're going to do your little morning routine. Don't sit on the computer the first thing when you wake up. I right, don't do this. It's going to fuck up your day. Do some push-ups. Get in the shower. Wash your ass. Brush your teeth. Drink some water. Okay, don't eat nothing yet. Drink two coffees. Then sit your ass at the computer and shoot 10 shots. Okay, don't eat nothing until you shot 10 shots, until you sent 10 inquiries, until you sent 10 messages. Whether it's on Discord servers, in my Warcats Discord server, you can join that. Every once in a while, I get a message, hey, Aryan, thank you, I found a client uh, through your server. Hey, Aryan, thank you, I found a great uh, person to work with. I found a great 3D artist that I can hire through your server. So join some of these communities, join other Discord servers, talk to people, build a profile on some websites, make an Instagram account. If you don't have a portfolio, then don't start with this. Start with a portfolio, all right? Shoot 10 shots, send 10 messages. That's the first thing you got to do. It ain't going to take you 10 hours. It might take you two hours. It might take you three hours. Doesn't matter. You're not going to eat nothing until you send 10 proper inquiries. And every single inquiry, you got to put in some effort. Adjust your portfolio a little bit. Maybe you got to make a new project for something, okay? Once you've done this, then you're going to eat something, all right? And now you deserved it. And take a little break, drink some coffee. Then do something else that's productive, okay? Just switch it up a little bit. Make some reels for Instagram, for your portfolio. Build, make some videos, okay? Check how other people do it who get views. Check how Aryan does it. When I post reels, I just post some bullshit about Blender, okay, on Instagram. And before you know it, people reach out to me, hey, can you make this? Can you make that? How much for this? How much for that? Okay, a whole bunch of people will respond to you just because you put out a little bit of content. So make some reels. It ain't rocket science, all right? Figure out how other people are doing it. Make some content. Put something out there so people can see it, okay? After that, you still got time in the day. What are you going to do? Play video games? We're, hey, we're not done yet, okay? You're going to make one new project for your Instagram. If you're serious, listen, if you get busy, you can do all of this in one day. You're going to sit your ass down. Look, you think it takes all day to produce this? Look, he's got an environment and he's using the same environment every single time. All right. You make a cylinder, two cylinders. Look, this is not rocket science. I can put this shit together in 30 minutes. Okay. Why don't you make one of these every single day and make some content around it? And eventually, as you go, you're going to be expanding your portfolio with cool works. You're also going to improve your skills. You're also going to have content to post. So someone's going to be able to find you, reach out to you. Okay. And you're going to have new works, which tomorrow you can send to companies which have something similar. Okay, so maybe they're going to think, oh, look, it's our product. He already made it for us. He told him not to use it for free. Okay, don't worry about it. Now they're going to like you. Now they're going to hire you for the next one. Once you've done this now, go do your workout. Okay, don't fuck around. And here's something that you have to understand, guys. At the end of the day, when you do this type of shit, some people are going to think you're weird. People are, you're not going to, you're not going to have an easy time hanging out with people. Okay. You're going to have to change how you interact with people because most people won't understand. Why are you doing this? Well, what the fuck? What's the matter with you? No one likes your 3D modeling skills. Some people are just scumbags. Most people don't get it, but you have to make sure that you're not this kid right here. You don't want to be the outcast because if you're an outcast, you're not going to get very far in life. I'm going to explain something to you. If you're this guy over here who's talking, he's hanging out with friends. Okay. In the evenings, you got to socialize, stay social. He's hanging out with his friends, talking to people, going to parties. Okay, he takes the time out of his day. It's summer. Come on, don't be a complete fucking loser, all right? Do something. If you're going to enjoy yourself, at least try to do it in a productive way. So you're around people, and you never know. You go out, you bump into somebody who likes you because they're also into street workouts like you've been doing for the past couple of months, okay? Now you can talk to this guy and it turns out he knows somebody who's no has an e-commerce business. So you meet somebody through somebody else just because you're socializing, you're getting out the house. You're not a fucking weirdo like this guy right here. Nobody wants to talk to you, all right? So 
So this is what your summer is going to look like if you want to make a thousand bucks. And if you do this, if you can keep your head together long enough and stay in the game long enough to do this, if you can stay in the grind and not give up after the first day because nobody responded to you like a bitch, if you can do this, you're going to find some success. You're going to find some money. Three months from now, you're going to look back at this video and send me a message, Aryan. You're a fucking genius. How did I not think of this before? But the reality is everybody knows this shit already. And then they get mad at me when I say it. Everybody understands that if you want to find some work, you got to go through the numbers game. But everybody just likes to pretend like you can just sit there and wait and relax and nothing. Someone's going to come and give you a job. Like you're entitled to a job just because you, you put together, you can do 3D modeling and you put that in your Instagram bio and you put two pictures of your dog in there. Some people think that just because you finished 3D design university, now you're entitled to a fucking job. They're going to come knocking on your door. They're going to take your door down. It's going to be lining up at your apartment. That's not going to happen. You got to get your shit together. You got to get to work, get some grind in you, start hooping. And you're going to see very quickly that it ain't that hard at all. Once you get, once you get the hang of it, you're just going to be able to keep doing this over and over and over and over again. And you're going to be all right. Now, from the moment when this video is uploaded, and for the next 24 hours, we're going to do a special summer discount for Digitally Enhanced, right? We're going to have a chance to join for the next three months for the summer. You can get your shit together, okay? We're going to help you put together a proper portfolio. We're going to show you how to hoop properly. We're going to show you everything you have to do. You're going to be around other guys who are doing this all the time, okay? So you're going to see how other people are doing it. You're going to pick up some advice. You're going to be able to work with other guys. And we're going to guide you through the entire process of becoming a professional. You're going to get your shit together. Now is the chance to do it. You have a whole summer, okay? If you can't do this during the summer, you're never going to do it. You're fucked, okay? So I know that now a lot of you guys have more time than ever before. You have more time. You understand that you got to get to work. So I'm going to give you a chance for right now for the next 24 hours. You can sign up early. I know some of you are fucking broke, okay? So you can sign up now for a discounted price for the rest of the summer. We're going to be able to work together on this properly. You're going to see how I do this shit as well. You're going to see how others do it. I'm going to teach you how to how to go through the process, how to go through the grind, how to play the numbers game correctly so that you can end up making some money, okay? Whether you're making 100 bucks at a time, maybe you find a $1,000 gig, maybe you find a full-time job. You never know. You're never going to know if you don't get your ass to work, okay? So get in touch with some people who know how to do this properly join some discord communities like the damn video and let me know in the comments what you want to see next i'll see you in the next one